President Trump is considering a series of high-level changes in the White House that may include a new chief of staff. Retired General John Kelly's status is suddenly unclear, in part because of tensions with First Lady Melania Trump. The First Lady's office stunned, and stunned is a word, they stunned observers yesterday asking for Deputy National Security Advisor Mira Ricardo to be fired. And sources tell CBS News the upcoming departure of Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nelson could set off a chain reaction in the West Wing. Paula Reed is at the White House. Paula, sounds like palace intrigue. Good morning. Palace intrigue indeed. Good morning, Gail. The usually press shy First Lady Melania Trump shocked people yesterday when she released this unprecedented public statement calling for Ricardo to be fired after she allegedly feuded with the First Lady's office, Chief of Staff John Kelly, and Defense Secretary Mattis. And this comes as an administration official tells CBS News that there will likely be significant staffing shakeups at the White House over the next few weeks. I have my own voice and my opinions. And First Lady Melania Trump's repeated clashes with the president's chief of staff, John Kelly, have reportedly included issues like staffing and travel requests. It's very important for me that I, I express what I feel. In a statement, the First Lady's office denied there is any conflict, saying Mrs. Trump has a very positive relationship with Chief Kelly and there have never been any issues between the two. In a rare move, the First Lady publicly called for Deputy National Security Advisor Mira Ricardo to be fired, complaining directly to her husband about being unhappy with her cartel during her first solo trip to Africa in October. The two fought over seating on the plane and using National Security Council resources for the trip. Less than an hour after Ricardo was seen at the White House yesterday, the First Lady's office issued a statement saying she no longer deserves the honor of serving in this White House. I give him my honest advice. In an interview last you know, month, the First Lady years. said there were those in the White House she did not trust. You always need to watch your back. She said she made sure the president knew. And what did he do? Well, some people, they don't work there anymore. Are you fired? On Tuesday, President Trump ignored questions about reports that he plans to remove Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen. Where are you getting this from reports? While his advisor, Kellyanne Conway, tried to cast doubt on anonymously sourced reports. Why are they remaining anonymous? Could it be that it's not completely verified and true? Nielsen's firing could potentially set off a showdown between the president and his chief of staff, who has made it clear that he opposes any firing of Nielsen. Now, all of this palace intrigue is providing a helpful distraction from the ongoing legal controversy surrounding the president's acting attorney general, Matthew Whitaker. An administration official tells CBS News that the president is waiting to see how big a majority he gets in the Senate before naming his permanent attorney general. Biana. All right, Paula, thank you.